Hi everyone, hope you're doing okay. Well, the news is that uh, 3.5.1 is now on the PTU for subscribers and uh, concierge backers. Now, one of the uh, new features to come into uh, this uh, PTU 3.51 uh, build is ship customization for the Origin 300 series. Now, what you've got to do to uh, actually uh, customize your uh, Origin ships for the PTU environment is to actually log on to the uh, PTU um, RSI site and go to the uh, pledge store. Now, if you have got an Origin 300i series ship, it will appear uh, in your traditional hangar um, section of your account. Now, we're on the pledge store here. Sorry about the dog barking in the background, if you can hear the dog. And uh, what you do, you choose a ship. By the way, these are in uh, US dollars at the moment, not British pounds. Not that, that British pounds is worth what they used to be. Perhaps uh, the visit by President Trump might help us out. So what you do, you go to one of the uh, customization screens for the ships. Here we are. We're on the, the 325 fighter. Or maybe we choose another ship. What one do you think? The racer. Right, we've chose the 350R. Now that used to be um, like a jet black ship. I actually used to own most of the Origin 300 series, but I don't think I think I melted them all some time ago. So you got some customizations here. Um, let's have a look. Origin celebration colours complimentary for a limited time now I believe that there's going to be some type of origin event coming up so this probably ties in with that so uh, as you can see clicking on any of those changes the uh, color of the outside of the ship now standard is your standard black here red is red and that's like a mustardy color so basically you choose whatever one you fancy um i think i'll go for this uh, celebration color on the outside red and white um ah premium now these are obviously premium so like a metallic yeah metallic um body spray here on the outside of your ship and it's a very reflective I think I'll, I'll be a, a cheapskate I'll, I'll just go for the included uh, red and white color scheme actually there's more underneath there's metallic yeah I'm not sure about those like a hard to tell perhaps they look better in game actually that's quite nice isn't it nice uh well we'll stick with that see what happens now we go into the cockpit here standard included so you can get a look inside the cockpit here so that's like a wood panelling finish. Let's go to red. That's quite nice. So, um, yeah. Wood panelling is quite nice. Premium again. Let's have a look at premium. Blue. That's, that's really nice, isn't it? I think we go for, go for um, blue there. 
as you can see there's actual prices which come up for all these selections here obviously uh, this is uh, still in the test phase so they're still uh, actually uh, testing the amount of uh, what they're going to charge for these right so um, seats sport included black leather included so gloss yellow included all right so at sports what we go there we change that ah here we go can we oh, that just shows you what the interior looks like if we go to sport now there may well be uh glitches with that and as you can see that crashed out there so at the moment as it is on the PTU some things may cause issues now it's worth checking out the patch notes uh, for this patch which actually tells you about uh, how to uh, customize your 300i series and uh, of significance is that during the PTU testing phase copying your account to PTU will grant you an allotment of store credit to use for customization purposes you can reclaim those purchases and start a new customization if desired additionally there is a dedicated ship customization module on the issue council where bugs and issues can be reported now unfortunately um, for this uh, PTU 3.51 uh, the only ships you'll be able to fly are ships which are locked to your account I'm afraid uh, not all the ships have been unlocked like in uh, previous PTUs so if you don't own any of the 300i series you are out of luck I'm afraid now I have uh, tried multiple attempts to actually get back to the uh, customization screen um, on the PTU website but unfortunately I kept on getting the same error so it's obviously a bug I've found uh, I'll have to check on the issue council to see if that's uh, been reported by anybody else it may well be one of those uh, issues where you may have to wipe your PTU account to get past it because it could be a persistence uh, database problem where it stored what I tried to select or it could just be problem compatibility problems with uh, with the web browser who knows <coughs> so anyway for now that's a quick look at customization afraid I can't afford a, a 300i series to actually buy one at the moment and uh, unless we uh, <coughs> we're lucky and get to see one I'm afraid uh, you may well have to uh, try and fly one yourself when you uh, get access to the PTU hold on we may be in luck there's a 300i series coming up here not sure what variant <coughs> that is ah this looks an interesting ship so uh, obviously these are being spawned so Is that a 315 or is it? Yeah, or 325. So anyway, at least you you've got a look at an Origin 300i series here. It's a 315. I'm not sure if that's a stock stock. Um, loadout screen obviously I never got to uh, 
as far as customising some of the uh, things like uh, uh, coolers and uh, ship components. I believe there's a couple of things you can select there. But obviously this is the PTU and uh, bugs will happen. Oh, it's uh, is that unlocked? Someone's having a look. Someone, I can't jump in there because there's no ladder that side. I don't think I'll be able to get in this anyway. Because it's not my ship. Not being unlocked. But uh, anyway, oh, it's been despawned, so the owner has lobbed off anyway. So there you go. So, um,. Obviously, um, if you want to get rid of the uh, code there in the top right hand corner, you can do uh, display session info equals one in the um, that screen if you want, but that helps uh, the developers um, hunting down bugs as well. They can uh, check the server and the session info. So there you go. So. Um, I'll obviously have a go at that again, but uh, there's an origin ship up there zooming off, so at least we did see uh, one of those uh, in-game. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll be back sometime soon, and uh, good luck with your origin customizations.